Hey everybody. This uh this is my dog little man right here. He uh he was my nephew's dog and uh we were boarding him for for my nephew and uh, my nephew got kicked out of his place or whatever, moved, I don't know what happened. But anyhow, we've had him for a couple three months now, living with us and me and my wife just uh, pretty much told DJ, you know, my nephew did uh he ought to give us that damn dog, you know, because we're taking care of him anyway, and that way he ain't got to buy dog food or nothing. But anyhow, I want you to look at this. Hey, Will, man, you see this poor son of bitch's face? Hey, baby. See them two marks right there? That one and that one? Oh, I know it hurts, baby. Yeah, that's what happens when a fucking rattlesnake bites you in the face. I was mowing the grass yesterday. Well, my son was mowing the grass, and I was out there with him make sure he didn't run over nothing um i can't really do nothing you know so i'm trying to get my kids to do as much as they can and you know i ain't never really made them work before but now i'm disabled i'm having to play catch up and teach them you know how to be little men i reckon but anyhow my grandbaby was out there and this dog jumped off this trampoline hey little man and he run over there and that rattlesnake was within three foot of my grandbaby. And this dog ran over there, grabbed that snake, got bit in the damn face for his troubles too, huh, BB? I took and I uh, took a scalpel and I cut, I cut right here where he uh, got bit. The other fang, I didn't even see that fang mark. I thought he'd only got bit by one fang or got stuck by one fang. So I squeezed the poison out best I could. We got a, a mobile vet that's supposed to be coming out here today. Uh, where we live, everybody's got horses and cows, you know, so you don't really go to the vet. The vet comes to you. So um, Dr. Swanson's going to be coming out, or the vet's going to come out. And uh, I think he's going to be all right. I really do, you know. I feel for him, man. I, I don't know. I guess I just wanted him on video. Oh, baby. God, look at that shit. It's hard as a rock. Had to pull the damn flea collar off. Poor baby. But he uh he saved my grandbaby's life. And I'm going uh, to pray for him today. And, and all you people out there that believe in God and believe in prayer, please pray for my old dog. He, uh, he saved my grandbaby's life. All right, baby. This this dog used to be a fighting dog way back in his day, and uh, I rescued him. But I guess actually he rescued me. I don't I don't know how that actually worked out. But my my nephew was in some crap he shouldn't have been in. And anyhow, this is a very good dog. You know, it it took us a while to get him from wanting to beat up everything, but uh. It gets along great with my three females. He don't like neighborhood dogs, you know. If there's a hunting dog or something that wanders up here, he pretty much has to toe the ass whipping. But there ain't nothing I can do about that, you know. It's bred in him. There ain't nothing you can do about it. So he don't get no whippings for that because he can't help it. But he's a good boy now. He's been rehabilitated. And I'm for sure, know for a fact, that he saved my grandbaby from getting bit at least. The grandbaby might not have died, you know, but he damn sure would have got bit, ain't a doubt in my mind. And uh, so I just want everybody to pray for my dog, I reckon, I don't know. I know you guys out there and girls out there that's got pets, y'all, y'all, I mean, they're almost like your kids. I mean, I've only, he's only been my dog officially for three days, but I've had him here for over four months. Well, three months probably, and he lived down the road from me his whole life. I had this dog's belly brother, Porkchop was his name, and uh, in fact, I got him in a casket. I actually buried his brother. I got a tombstone and everything for old Porkchop, but um, I traded, I had some pigs butchered, and I traded a meat package for this here dog and his brother. His brother is a blue pit. He's the only one that colored come out buckskin. The rest were blues. And I kept uh, I kept the blue one, and I give my nephew Dessen. And anyhow, 
he's about six years old now. We've had him around the family for a long time. You know, he didn't always live here on this property, but he lived, you know, at the end of my driveway. My driveway is a mile long, well, a mile and a tenth. So just a, a hair over a mile is where my nephew grew up. So the dog used to come play in the pond, and he'd come play with our dogs anyway. You know, he was a good boy. But I'm sorry I'm rambling. Just pray for my dog, please. All right, bye, everybody.